Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinobi Ranger here and welcome back to part 9 of my Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai Satsuma campaign guide. I had forgotten the most important thing that is army compositions. So here I have what I like to follow in the campaign. Right? So how it goes is like this but before we start off with the video if you missed the previous videos of the playlist you would find the playlist notification popping in the right corner of the screen right now so if you missed the previous video or any other older videos you can please check it out there now let's come back to the main topic at hand army composition for campaign playing as satsuma or any other imperial faction or any other shogunate faction though this is solely my experience of playing as satsuma i have not played as a shogunate faction so mainly imperial factions how i divide my army is like this <coughs> note that you can have variations in the composition but i suggest you not to go too crazy in terms of changes examples of changes can be you can replace yari ki with perhaps some more carbine cavalry or you can replace yari ki with Revolver Cavalry or you could do that for Carbine Cavalry. You can switch out Carbine Cavalry for Yari Cavalry or I mean Yari Ki or you can use Revolver Cavalry in their state. Alright, I have not used Revolver Cavalry so much <coughs> so my knowledge is a bit limited. Now this is how I usually pump up on the battlefield. I include 6 units of line infantry. Of course this is a very thin line. Excuse me. I don't like to keep our uh, keep the main line so thick which is 4 ranks deep. This is 4 ranks deep but you should not go anywhere less than 3 ranks. 3 ranks and below if possible. But ideally 3 ranks. Three lines of infantry of line is what you should go for. I always include two units of skirmishers, orders, sharpshooters. They are not very helpful in a field battle, but they are extremely useful in sieges because they have that 150 range, and Ready to serve, all line sir. infantry have 125 range. <coughs> When you are attacking fortifications, if two units have the same range, the units in the castle will benefit from the protection provided by the castle walls. So you always have to have two units of sharpshooters. I prefer sharpshooters, I don't prefer bow kachi because sharpshooter bullets are armor piercing, they ignore armor. So even if they miss sh some shots, anybody is unlucky in standing in the way will be killed. Compulsorily include 3 units of Armstrong guns. Okay. <coughs> I always include 3 units of Armstrong guns in any army. Line infantry wise, uh, you can go for Imperial infantry. If you feel you have, a, you have a financial crunch and you cannot afford Imperial infantry, If you feel you cannot, if you feel you cannot maintain Imperial Infantry, you can take up uh, Black Bear Infantry in the case of Satsuma or go for the standard uh, Line Infantry which is available at the Cadet School. Okay? And I always include 2 units of traditional infantry, I mean 4 units of traditional infantry. Yari Kachi. Katana Kachi, one group on the left flank, another group on the right flank. <coughs> Why I insist on doing this is, suppose there are traditional units in the enemy army who are charging at you, you feel you don't want to risk your line infantry in a face to face fight because you would have seen what happens to line infantry in hand to hand combat. Okay, move them up and support them. Or if they are threatening your flank, you can shut them down using your traditional katana samurai like this. So if there is a flank coming in and they need to take a portion to fire, you charge them in, they will take care of them. 
I always have two units of Yari Samurai or in this case Yari Kachi because their anti cavalry skill is what is mainly considered here. Now let's say you are swamped by enemy cavalry who are charging either at your cavalry or the main line. Let's say they are charging from an angle. Let us say they are charging in from this side. So this is a blind spot. I can't turn the unit around. I have to reposition them and shoot. But I am already engaged at the front. Swing them around like this. Charge them. And they will do a lot of damage to enemy cavalry. For that specific reason I have kept them in the, in the army. Moreover, these units as well like the sharpshooters they will do very well in a castle attack or a castle defense if let's say i have taken over a settlement and i want to move away with my army i can leave behind these traditional units who will just stand and fight as long as they are not exposed to enemy gunfire as the enemy attacks they will hold their ground and they start carving them up so that is the main purpose of our traditional infantry now coming to cavalry i go for yariki because yariki are cavalry killers saber cavalry cannot match yariki so saber cavalry is definitely out of the question and unlike shogun 2 where excuse me unlike shogun 2 where yari yari not ki yari cavalry have abysmal defense the defense stats for the Yariki is reasonable. They are not good at staying in melee, but it's reasonable. And then I go for Carbine Cavalry. Carbine Cavalry solely for the purpose of chasing enemies down. So I just... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> the unit is routing in front of me, I just keep them forward. Just put a waypoint or a path marker and keep them on fire at will. They can fire while it's moving, so just they unload their ammo into the enemy ranks. You can also use them as emergency cavalry as well, melee cavalry to shut down any enemy troops. Of course you can destroy enemy artillery if you charge any cavalry to it. You can go for revolver cavalry but that is completely up to you. How it works in this case is... Today sir we attack! I have artillery, the enemy have to come towards us. Okay, and as soon as the enemy army is in range, first things first, first priority, if they have artillery of their own, take it out. Do not allow their artillery to fire back at your infantry or artillery. First things first, knock out their artillery if they have any artillery. Then knock out their cavalry. By knock out, I mean not completely destroy that unit. It is well and good if you destroy them completely, but if you want to save ammo, you can destroy their unit by damaging them. Bring them down to half their strength. So instead of 80, they come down to 40 or 50 cavalry. It's like that. Once the cavalry and the artillery have been dealt with artillery, you should not do anything until and unless the unit is destroyed or it is run away from the field, just keep pounding them. Because you don't want to be hit back. That is the worst case scenario. Then you start pounding away at the traditional units such as any katana kachi or yari kachi or if they have carbine cavalry of their own or if they have revolver cavalry of their own you can shoot them away any elite infantry like shogitai or guard infantry or generally if you feel you want to thin out their lines when they're approaching you you want to reduce that numerical advantage if they have any use it okay now they're in range let's start first fire and maintain the formation which is shown here alright maintain this formation it should help you cover most of the threats I don't go for completely aggressive or completely defensive armies I go for well balanced armies which can almost be relied upon in every in almost which can be relied upon in almost every situation this is a well balanced army you can work well in attack or defense or castle siege or castle defense so I go for that flexibility and if you want to, if you are getting confused, show you, okay, now I just ungrouped, if you want to group your units, what you do is hit control G, select those units by, okay, I'll, read, I'll do that as well, okay, hold on control, 1, 2, 5, 6, all selected, 
control G and they form a group. So you can issue orders to the group now. So if you want them all to fire at will, you say, okay, now they're off fire at will. You want them to open fire at will, do it. You can give individual instructions as well. So like example, this unit, I can say, okay, you don't fire at will. Now in the group, because one unit is not having fire at will, it is grayed out. It is not highlighted. Now I want the unit back to fire at will. So just make it and the unit is updated. All right, let's finish off this battle quickly. Not very accurate, but uh, cannot be helped. Because they are uh, rank one artillery without any experience. Rank zero artillery, sorry. No experience. And artillery has an ability called kill zone, which will reduce the by to make them more accurate. The shrapnel shot is useful against infantry when they are thickly bunched up. So if they're coming in a column formation or a square, this is what happens. See, it should be stationary. So now you can see the accuracy is shot up because of the kills on the plus 100% accuracy. But it reduces your arc of fire, so it can be limited to this. Ooh, nice hit. Ooh, beautiful hits, okay. Okay, stop okay, let's continue and let's stop stop fighting. Okay. Limber up. You've done your damage. Okay, you ready. need to limber artillery, artillery to move ready. them around ready. Ready. and you need to unlimber them to fire, don't forget that. So limbering means the horses come forward and they attach the guns to the cart, that's it. So they are limbered now and if I unlimber, only then you can see. So you see what happens. The gun is turned around. Okay, when the unlimbering happens, it is the horses which will move back, not the guns. So keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, we are ready to fire, but I'll limber up now. Okay, now we'll deal with castle siege and castle defense as well and how this works in our favor or against our favor, whatever you'd suppose it to be. Okay, so I'll be back with siege attack and siege defense. Be back soon. Alright guys, welcome back to the siege battle. Okay, um, first. I'll show you army placement, how I ideally like to place my forces. Uh, okay, always control G. Alright, artillery you can, you should always have higher ground if possible. Okay, this is, you can call it cheating or whatever you want, but this is the valid tactic work. Make sure there is some gap between the guns. So don't have them sticking next to each other like this. Have a little bit of gap. 
because when you when the guns have to be turned to face and fire they may if they are in contact with each other they'll just blow up they'll just kill your crew members okay so be careful that our imperial infantry that is our infantry core be here so this is how i usually like them to be placed long line of troops okay very important are our units of sharp shooters so let's put them here okay our traditional units one group here General will always be behind in the end he'll be here standing here and the cavalry is always with the general to protect him okay ideally these five units should never see combat so I have not grouped them for that reason. All right. Uh, now let's just take a look. Okay, everything's fine, and let's start. The men are ready to attack, sir. All right. So first things first, start blowing up the towers. Okay, blow up all the towers. Now you see there is a unit of line infantry here, or militia, or whatever you want to call him. Just watch what I can do. Okay, now that that is done, knock out this tower. You don't want extra towers fire coming at your own troops. So I say you should use artillery. Okay, we will knock out this tower and then advance. Okay, good. That is a good solid hit. Any troops who are stationed here will have been outright killed, so don't need to worry about that. And it's better if they die. Okay. Now, either you can waste ammo for firing at the gate where there are nobody or you can do this. So there are troops in this gatehouse. Let's target the gatehouse. And simultaneously, we'll move up our sharpshooters forward. Okay, you can make use of terrain to protect your troops from if if they are in range. Once you get them be below this entrenchment or a moat, whatever you want to call it, okay. Now there's a problem. Why? Because they can't see what they're firing at. So you see, obstructed. Line of sight is blocked. So in this case, limber up and move your artillery forward. Okay. We move up slowly, steadily, inch by inch. You run forward, that's okay, but you have to be very careful because there are 200 of them. They are at a height. They are protected by the parapet. See? If you observe. So seeing from their point of view, only the chest and the head is exposed. Otherwise, they're completely protected. And that's quite a high wall. It is quite a high wall. So very carefully you need to advance. Uh oh, we're under fire. Alright, hold on. Now, push the guns forward. Okay, we are getting pop shots off on us. Not much of a problem we can do about it. But in case, you can just... Oh dear God. Okay, not good. Just a bit back so they don't shoot at us. 
So it's gonna be touch and go in the case. Few casualties are always acceptable, but the end result is now they are stationary, they are sitting ducks for your troops. They are it's a slow process, but every person you kill is every person less who shoots back at you. Okay, artillery is in position, so I'll unlimber and imme immediately take off fire at will. Very very important. Okay. They're just taking it. <coughs> so you see? It's a slow attack rate, I know that, but you're causing casualties to them and you're not losing casualties. You're just wasting some bullets. And that's completely okay. Bullets are cheaper than men. Men are not so cheap, unfortunately. Or you want to have some fun. Okay. Tell them not to fire. Okay. You can do. Oh dear. Okay. Get them back. Get them back. Get them back. Leg post. There. Now they are not fire back at us. Nothing to worry. Shoot at the gatehouse. Any troops are inside there, they'll die. If they start moving out, they're dead either way. So now you see they're not obstructed. You can fire back at them. And we can shoot to that wall there where there are troops standing there. We can destroy the castle if you want to get so destructive. You can destroy that gatehouse. Hold on. Again, I know it is block. Oh. What is the problem? Let's take a look. Okay, they're not able to see. So what we'll do is we'll focus out these idiots here. So just target them. Okay, and here you go. See. Again, don't do too much of this. You need to save your ammo. You need to be careful with your ammo. And try to make sure all your guns are firing together. Okay, we just destroyed that wall section. You can shoot there as well. Okay, they need to turn the guns now. Alright, turn the guns. Only one is firing because they are obstructed as I showed you, as I told you, they are obstructed so only one gun can fire, one set of guns can fire. Alright, what we will do is, we will up. Now, let's deal with these here. Forward. Where it will and okay, so this unit is not completely able to fire and pick up just a little. What? We take some fire, but that is okay. Now they're opening up pretty hard on us. You know what? We have to take some losses. The terrain is like that. You need to watch your terrain and consider a lot of okay, they're broken. So I lost 13 men, but I killed off the unit. I chased them away. That's all that matters. And if you have a lot of ammo, I'm telling you, the way you can play around is unimaginable. Okay, now what we will do is, let's position our guns. Bit more. Okay, the unit can return to the battle. If they have enough morale, or they will not, they just run away. Okay, so they are bringing up troops to cover the defense here. Alright, so you can see troops are moving out. One more thing, observe the enemy movements. Always observe enemy movements. Okay. Now, I'll just move up our samurai troops here. And wall climbing as well. Be careful of where you're climbing up. Okay. 
when the units get to the wall, I'll explain then. Alright, so a new unit is coming. Alright, so now we'll unlimber. Be ready to shoot i guess we are now there won't be any problems such as blocked line of sight because the guns can turn out so because them see everybody's firing so have a little bit of gap or you feel okay i'll use this gun to destroy the gate do that it's up to you so that was a good volley and one more thing, if your troops are stationed on the wall, see artillery will damage walls as well. If there are troops stationed on the wall like this and you damage and destroy the wall, when, it's, when the damage percent reaches 100, the wall is de completely destroyed. Anybody on the wall section who and all are there will be killed like this. They'll fly up into the air and done. That's what is going to happen. Ability. Anybody inside also will be killed. Oh, getting some pretty nasty hits. So everybody inside the wall is dead. Some of them have been blown back. Ooh, All right, here we go again. Building is destroyed and people are sent flying. And this proxy killing is also very helpful. It's like cheating, but that's okay. You kill two birds with one stone. You destroy the gate and you kill off enemy troops. Be careful of using it too frequently though. Okay, now let's arrange our troops. Shall we aim for... Okay, there are troops here. Focus them down. Okay, no need to hit the troops. Hit the gate. Any nearby hits and they are done for. See, like that. Some would have died, yes. Six of them have been killed. Okay, this gun's line of sight is blocked, unfortunately. Oh, that was a good hit. Alright, sharpshooters opening up. There's nothing they can do about it. Alright, first we need to get rid of this gate here. Some of them were sent flying, that's okay. And they can't shoot at us because we are crouching below the gate. So learn to make use of terrain and the enemy fortifications as your shields. My orders, Lord. Okay, that was a miss. Again, positioning is always problem. You need to position them properly. Okay, anybody who's hit here, yeah, die. people are dying. Once the gate is destroyed, they're going to send, be sent flying to their death. Okay, another hit, and the tower should be down. We are spending our ammo, but that's okay, because okay. One more hit. Done. Keep you in here and inside the gatehouse are all dead. Okay, now let's let's troll these men as well. Come close. All right. Watch their angles. Watch your angles of fire. This arc will show you how far you can fire. As long as they are within your arc and you are not within their arc of fire. Okay, say they're firing. Okay, there's one dude who's firing at us. One person who's firing at us. Now if we fire back. Okay, one more person is taking his place. 
You see, they're hitting the wall. This is not a good use of ammo, but I'm just showing you things. See? Pass through and he'll hit. Okay, that accuracy is quite... See? Okay, 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 stop. We're wasting ammo. There are ways to get rid of them. Not only just use. Alright, one more thing which we can do is um, let's reposition the guns here. Reposition there. Have a little bit of gap always. Have a little bit of gap. No. Not enough. Wipe them out! Ready all of and them. awaiting target saw! Wipe them out! All of them! More. Wipe them See? Have the oh, 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 oh. They mean for that. Get back. See? You can do this as well. So they'll just get a bit close and start shooting. Okay, this is enough. So this much range and they're gonna get shot. And now they can't shoot back at us. It is a time consuming process but I recommend you do it because the payoff will be very very handsome. Because once we get rid of these units we just have to clamber up and start killing them. Okay, is everybody ready? Now just focus fire on the walls. As I said before you can do that. So, Okay, now watch them die. Don't worry, they can't attack us because we are out of their range. Alright, so this is going to cause some damage. People are going to be killed due to the artillery shell hitting the wall. The impact is going to kill them. Don't worry about it. Alright, we have destroyed our walls. Okay, then let's do this. Let's focus on this wall. Here we go. Boom. Done. And they are down to 57 men. They'll reform again. You can shoot them if you want. You can also attack an area like this. So, I want to... Alright, I think they're dead there. No, they're not dead. Alright, so you see, they're moving in our defense. Scooch up. Patience is what is gonna help. Okay, now we are completely in range. They are just shooting back at us. It's a little bad, but once we open fire, it won't be so nice. See, main. And the lo losses we are taking is barely anything compared to what they are suffering. See, again they are out of range. I mean to say we are out of range for them. It is a tedious process. Nobody said it's easy. Okay. okay. Aim here, just for fun. Okay, can manually attack here because you can then attack any area of ground you want. So anybody is there, they are dead. Okay, blocked. Right. Just try hitting the gate. No, not gonna work. See, some issues are there. Okay, that unit is done for. Alright. Now... Usually you can climb up through walls or you can go around set torch set fire to the gates uh, Traditional infantry can just directly set fire to the gates if you want to use line infantry though You should toggle melee mode like this or use the key F and then you can set fire to the gate When you're climbing walls do not climb up large walls or tall walls says this 
because when people are climbing up when they lose their footing they slip and fall to their death so don't ever do such things where you should climb up is where the height of the wall is very very small like this so if a person grabs on 2 3 4 uh efforts of climbing up 2 3 4 times he just clambers up for uh, maximum of 3 4 steps and he's across the wall he's over the wall he's safe okay let's move up our line infantry again you need to have patience here okay it's a long process but you need to be patient see here is one where you can cheese here okay right and when you are attacking the walls please spread your troops out so have multiple units around so yes and you have another unit here Okay, have them like this. Because only bowmen or archers armed with bows can shoot over the fortifications. Gun troops can only shoot in a straight line, either up or down or straight. So that is how you exploit the weakness here. Okay, you can even go here. Ready. And when you climb up, please let them climb up. Okay, you see, Zoros map. See, very short wall, not a very huge wall. At these heights, people will not usually fall off. Okay, people are falling off, but the number of people who fall off is very less. Unlike uh, these tall walls, where you lose a lot more troops when they slip. and they fall to their deaths and try not to have everybody attack uh, try not to immediately issue any attack orders okay if you are attacked only then respond otherwise due to your haste somebody may lose their footing see see that's all now they can't shoot they are putting in reinforcement but they can't shoot and even though they are all charging at us one one unit we can hold our ground because we are better trained and skilled than them okay so as soon as there is an attack that said okay they're facing over here or not so let's just climb up here and don't worry these units can hold for a long time Okay, my men are getting tired, so we should watch them. So once everybody is across, so you can see how many fell down. One, uh, two. I think three of them fell down. If I'm right. Out of that, everybody is fighting here. If it had been some higher wall, then it would be a problem because there are too many people who are slipping and falling, and you lose more men that way. Okay. We are being shot at if I'm right. No, see, no hindrance here. So one unit alone is holding off so many men. Just showing an example. Now this unit, I can either have them attack. See, in this case, see they're climbing up. Okay, five of them have fallen to their deaths. Okay, that. arrow tower is shooting us not much of a problem ready to attack sir what is happening they are going through the wall no they lost okay path finding issue you can see here they are holding on very well okay i think everybody is up no not everybody is up Okay, most of them are up, so we'll just run over. Okay, they're wavering there. There is an army loss effect coming in. 
there we go see we held them off now always remember if you place your units in this uppermost tier where the castle is present they will not run away otherwise it will happen like this let this be a good lesson in the uppermost sections of the wall if you are in this level people will not run away they'll fight to the death otherwise if you lose too many troops your army will be hit by an army loss penalty to morale and they'll start running away like this unit for example here see 200 men not a single soldier has seen any combat and they are already running away so be very very careful okay we we'll just barge up and try to walk your troops if they are tired try to walk them don't make them run and anybody who is running through you your troops when they are running away they'll be killed so it's a messy fight here Oh, it's a mess. They're getting free kills, and our samurai did very well. Our katana kashi, three forty-five kills. This is where they are very useful. Okay, let's just fast forward. Okay, now in this position, you can either directly attack. Or what you can do is why are they firing? Oh, good lord! Okay, okay, now I get it. Okay, I think it's friendly fire. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, fine, fine. Let them have it. What happens for fire? Oh dear! Hold on, somebody shooting us. Okay, the general is coming out. Is it? No. Quickly neutralize those towers. Oh dear! Looks like the general is coming out. And our Yari Kachi have an ability called Rapid Advance, which will red, which will take off their fatigue penalty and make them move faster. It also increases their charge bonus. Like this, see? And suddenly they are moving faster. Okay, I expect revolver volley is coming in. Yes, one volley, but you are dead. Achit. Once you stop like that, you are done for. And since they are cavalry, our samurai should deal with them quite efficiently. See, done. And over. Enemy tower is yours, general. Battle is done. Okay, let's end the battle. All right, guys. So this was siege attack. I'll show siege defense. Okay. So be back with siege defense. All right, guys. Same map. Welcome back. But we are the defender, and the enemy is attacking us. All right. Now, as stated earlier, try to have your defense only in the inner ring. Why, my friend, is because. They will fight to the death, and it really is very helpful. The unit is going to fight to the death. You want your line infantry? I need line infantry to garrison all across. Okay, keep your general off fire at will. If you are having artillery in the enemy army, try to put them behind the castle. because it will give some cover fire covering support or if the guns are facing towards from that side hide them here okay every point you can exploit for your own defense for example if there are guns here enemy artillery is present here you can place your troops completely here so just keep them near the gate so that you can rush them in when they are needed keep your traditional units spread out okay 
keep him spread out. And what the AI does, we will observe right now. Okay. I don't care if I... And one more thing. If you are going to lose the fight, don't feel bad about it. Your priority should be... You should cause as much harm as you can. <coughs> as much harm as you can to the enemy army. Because if you kill off half their army to just take out this small garrison or you kill off three-fourths of their army, it's going to take them a lot of time to recover. So that's your main idea. There you go. With the fan. There. As usual, the AI will deploy from all sides. That's their trick. Okay, where are they? Let's take a look. Just you should take a look at them. Okay, so they're coming from this side. Okay, there is a mass concentration of troops here. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, one second guys all right sorry about that okay let's just do okay they're being shot at and okay they're moving quite fast all right i don't need to delay the video all right so they're going to be shot at and they're going to start climbing up again how if there are multiple layers let them climb up let them break their bones take, take some pain in climbing up because they're going to lose men that way okay Generally, the AI is going to do that. And don't cry about you losing these towers and gates, okay? As long as you save this point, this flag here where the general is present, as long as this is under your control, you will still win the battle. And as long as you have at least one or two units who are still surviving and their entire army is run away, you will win. So don't worry about that. Okay, there are troops opening up already. Who's shooting? Okay, I mean spread around like crazy, but okay. So here we go. They're climbing up. Okay, we're opening up. See? Okay, they're wasting ammo, so don't shoot. The enemy have claimed the tower, sir. That's okay. That's completely okay. If you're being shot at, it's okay. It's not a problem. See, they're going to take more effort to climb up. Okay, let them take their sweet time in getting up. Okay, now they're moving up. Now, let's have fire at will. Okay. So this is where we catch them with their pants up. Ah, see, here we go. See, see, look at that. Okay, they climb up and you shoot them. Hold your position. See, see, look at that, look at that. And if the bullet goes and hits somebody there, they're dead. Either way. One maximum dividend, wait. Wait for them. Just wait for them to clamber up. Okay, okay, they're climbing, they're climbing up. All right, now you can open up. There are people moving in around. And make sure all your range units are in guard mode. Why? Because even if somebody comes to shoot them and they start fighting, some people start fighting, they start drawing their sword movement. So if you put them on guard mode, they stay put, they start opening fire. See, this is what happens. They're just sitting ducks there. And they're having it. They're literally taking it. They're taking a beating of their lives. Okay, it's laggy. There are too many units on the field. But see, I lost 10 men, I've killed 26 men. As they come into range, that's how you shoot them, see? Okay, they're still moving around. 
Okay, they're just sitting there, standing there, whatever they're doing is being shot up. And even if it's a peasant who's shooting, doesn't matter, we're killing them off. Okay. Yeah, and they're gonna clamber up. Idiots are gonna clamber up. And they're gonna lose a lot of troops in this climbing up business of this. Because it's such a huge wall. See, look at the height of the wall. Unnecessary losses, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. See here. Look at the carnage you're causing. Look. This militia unit has killed off 60 men already. See there, see there, look at the funny business here, see? They're standing still, moving around. They're not accurate. Accuracy is 5. Sorry, accuracy is 10, but look at that. 63 kills. Okay, now they're gonna run. Doesn't matter. And they'll start climbing up now, see? And there is backup in case it is too hairy for us. There is always backup. Okay, I think they're climbing up, right? Yeah, they're climbing up. Look at that. And people are going to start dropping. Here we go. Okay, 197. Okay, they'll start dropping. Don't worry. They'll start dropping. Okay, there goes one. There goes two. And as soon as they're up, they're going to take it in the face. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hold on, look. There is firing going on here. Standing like ducks. Sitting ducks. And they're being shot up. That is why defenses, if you're playing as the player, and the A is attacking you like this, see, look at it. It's already come down to 188. They form up, do whatever bullshit work they have to do. They're gonna face it, see? Alright, they're climbing up, I think, or they're staying still. Okay, they're, they're clambering up. And they are holding them off. They are holding them off. Look at that. Ooh. And there is always backup available. So this unit of levies has killed 150 men almost. Three shy. Okay, it's 150 now. See, look at the your, look at the return you're getting on it. They'll waste their time capturing stuff and all. That will hurt. But you just see here. Okay, you lose men climbing up, and then you're getting shot at in the face. All right, 91. The enemy has claimed the tower, sir. Yeah, do, ignore it. I'm telling you, right? Ignore that. They're already wavering here. They're at half strength. See? They're being shot at. While climbing also, they're taking losses because they're falling to their deaths. Yeah, this is chaos. Okay, look at that. See, look at that. Just look at the way they're being shot up. <laughs> What's the point in climbing around everywhere? See? Spreading your attack, okay, here they're doing a wise choice because not many will die due to the height of the wall being less. It's a bit short, but even then, see, that's a unit broken. They're half clambering, they're half staying still. They're dead. That's unit, that's one unit gone. That spear levy is broken, where are they? See, they're half standing up and down. Okay, now they're putting pressure on us here. This shows Kinsengumi unit is using its Fazai ability. Now we'll throw in this unit in here. This Banzai will make them unbreakable for the duration. Now we'll charge them. Yeah, now they're claiming kills, but look, this Levy unit has killed 250 men and something. Close to 250 men. That's all we need all that matters okay okay see yes, ability is gone and they're breaking and they're done okay reform okay so this battle is gonna wind down hmm.
what I am feeling now is let them all run away. Okay, there is there is chaos everywhere. But one thing is certain. They are giving them the fight of their lives. See, I'm 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 only having nine units. Okay, it's in. All right. Go home. You're not coming back again. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. It's people. It's okay. Actually, they're done. 228 kills. 183 kills. No complaining of any sort. Okay, there are people climbing up here, but even then, not going to be very nice. Because they're being shot at. Okay, they're crumbled here. They're completely crumbling here. Look at that. Amazing. There is a rush of troops who are running away here. So if you feel confident enough, you can run out a unit. And we can go stand here. Choke them up. They'll be killed there. What I'll do is first, okay, let's go occupy the tower. See, see, they're sitting ducks. Every shot is gonna hit. Every shot is gonna hit, and there are 316 kills. These peasants. Okay, now. My troops out. Oh, just a second, guys. Alright, sorry about that again. But this is an easy win. Being shot where they stand, choked up. The general himself is coming up and again he's climbing up. Fool. Um, to see his decision though. Okay, so what now we can do is let's put this unit here. Okay. So even if he does come up, he's dead. Alright, come on, capture the tower. Now we'll start retaking what and all we lost. Okay, where is the general? Okay, here he comes. Ready? Okay, go. Put him to death. Quick, 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 quick. Before he takes out his revolver. Okay, done. You dealt, we have dealt the blow to him. Okay. The men have taken an enemy tower. Okay. Uh, let's take this unit and we'll place them here. Yeah. Okay, I think we have won the battle. Uh oh. Okay. Too much attention on one side. Okay, just get them from behind. And I have another unit ready, so let's throw them in. Your victory is close, sir! And done! We will! We have destroyed an entire army with just 10 units. And if we are quick enough, we can cause more damage by getting troops here. Oh, we can move quickly. Oh dear. Come on! Respond and whoever is here is dead. Okay, let's just see the kills on our units before we quit the battle. Okay, peasants are having 342 kills, 226 kills, 309, 239, 132, 140. Samurai at 54, they killed a general, hence the XP. But you can see that we have done really well. More are going to die. Because they are going to run away. And people are going to shoot them as they run through the gate. Now we can throw this unit of spear levy to capture the tower from shoot. Prevent it from shooting us. It is annoying. So let's just put an end to it. 
Ik doe geen ghost, echt meer. Ik kan kill off a few. Every few we kill is uh, benefit for us. Later on we'll have to worry about fewer enemies. And note that if enemy artillery is present, make a note of where they are deployed. If there are guns over here in this hillock, place your units behind the castle. So place them here and here. Place them in the lower level away from the guns and once fighting commences you can start moving them around. And I think they are done for them rate. Yes they are dead. They are done for. And we can call it an end to the battle guys. Better. Heroic victory. Look at that. Half a stack. We crushed an entire army just like that. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the battle tutorial of the campaign guide series. I hope this series was enjoyable. If you like the video, then please feel free to leave a like. If you did not like the video, then please feel free to leave a dislike. Any sort of tactics, suggestions, comments, whatever you want to drop it down, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And if you like my content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until the next video, this is Shinobi Ranger signing out. Bye!